this video tutorial explains you how to calculate Jensen's index. Jensen's index helps us to calculate the expected return on a mutual fund scheme and calculate it by using equation RF plus beta into RM minus RF where RM stands for return on a market and RF risk free rate and beta stands for beta coefficient of the portfolio and this is how we calculate the beta beta equals to covariance of XY divided by variance of X and while calculating a beta we need to keep in memory that beta is a measure that compares returns not prices so here we have a prices market index values as well as NAV values so we should not calculate beta on these values first of all we need to calculate the returns of these values then calculate the beta and uh, return is calculated using equation PT minus P PT minus 1 that is the previous day divided by previous day into 100 so first we start calculating daily returns on returns on market this equals to current price minus previous price divided by previous price and drag to right to calculate return on NAV daily return on NAV then drag down so we have calculated daily returns for all the trading days so format cells number numeric will take three decimal points and okay now you see during this month how many number of observations are there number of trading days that is observations is used we calculated using build excel function equals to count select the observations we got 20 trading days and next is we need to calculate average daily market return so here we have a market while daily market values so we need to calculate the average of these daily returns equals to we use excel function average a v e r a g e average of market returns average of market returns then annual risk free rate we assume that the annual risk free rate is 7% normally whatever the interest rate paid on T bills a 91 day T bill is considered as a risk free rate or interbank rate or LIBOR various rates are considered as a risk free rates next is we need to calculate average market return so here average market return is average daily market return multiplied by number of trading days so that we got average market return for this time period that is the, here we have taken sample for one month so for this one month average market return is 3.39 percent and specific period risk free rate so here we our interest rate is annual risk free rate but now we are doing calculation only for 20 days so this annual interest rate need to be minimized to number of trading days so that we do by using equals to annual interest rate multiplied by number of trading days that is 20 divided by total number of days in a year that is 360 so we get interest rate for particular period that is interest rate for this 20 days next how is that we are going to calculate the beta instead of using covariance of x by variance of x all that what we do is simply we can use a built-in excel equation slope to calculate the beta so equals to slop slope is a built-in excel function which helps us to calculate beta so it is prompting you to give inputs for known y values y values are 
written on NAVs, comma, known X values. X values are written on market. So we got a beta of 0.91. Now finally, we substitute these values to derive to the Jensen's expected return. So Jensen's expected return equals to risk-free rate plus beta into return on market minus risk-free rate. So this equals to first is risk-free rate. So risk-free rate for our specified period is 0.39 plus what is the beta value? Beta is 0.91 into return on market that is 3.39 minus risk free rate is 0.39. So Jensen's expected return is 0 0.03 and we convert into percentage format sales percentage so expected return on this portfolio is 3.13 percent